Okay everyone, welcome to the second tutorial video in which I will keep showing you how to think in Unity language. In this video we're going to make a point system, it's going to be really simple. But first we're going to create a new folder, it's going to be called scenes for us to store this scene. And we need to add graphics so our player can have something to pick up. <coughs> we're going to add this and we're going to set it up just as before, multiple, point, true color, and apply and then sprite editor slice it and apply that it's easy we're gonna pick up our uh, one of these iron lingots add a component circle collider to the and set it to trigger why trigger because we need the player to be able to go through it but we don't want it to collide we just want to know that the player went through this object so now we remain naming iron and we make sure that our player's tag is player it's important. Then we go to the scripts folder and create a new script called pickups. So now we need to do things with both scripts. First, go to a player script and create a new public int called points. And instead of update, we need to be in fixed update for physics. That's all we need to do with the player script. Now we move to the pickup script and we need to find our player, player, player. This is the player script. This is the local variable for this script. So in void star we say that player equals find object of type player because there's only one in the whole world, which is our player script. And we know you're gonna use update. We're gonna use on trigger enter 2D void on trigger enter to the it means what this means is whatever enters the trigger is gonna if it has a collider attached to it it's gonna be registered registered with the name hit so if this object hit that hit its tag is player remember we just said the tag so if the tag is player we're going to add points how do we do that? Just player dot point and plus equals the points we're gonna have as a variable here. It's gonna be a public int called points. So whatever we set as this variable is gonna be added to the player's point and then we're gonna destroy this game object. Let's just say destroy game object so the player just can only pick it up once. So let's do that. It's attached here, it's already attached. Oh, it's not. We're just going to attach it. And then we're going to assign point value. We can see in our player script it has zero points. We just click play. When it grabs it, disappears, and we have now one point. But how we can make, how can we make it appear somewhere, maybe up here? Just going to make a new UI, UI element called a text. These canvases get created any time you try and add a new UI element. You can have it in two ways. This way is the screen overlay where any device will show this screen or you can make it as a camera and that's what I'm going to do. Add the main camera to it and when we check the text it's here. We can set it to be here and just change the color to black do it, make it overflow just so it doesn't wrap around make it bigger like this and delete the text now to send the text we need something to send text to this object we're gonna make a new object it's gonna be called level manager and we're gonna make a script called level manager this script is going to be attached to this game object and in this script we're just going to need to do three things one we need to copy and paste this here and do unity engine dot ui to make to allow this script to access the ui part of unity the user interface so first we need to find the player the same title the same way as before player player and we need to find the text it's going to be a public text points text I'm gonna call it that and then for player 
just gonna find an object of type player again and in the update method we're gonna say that the points text dot text equals points we, we could, you can set it to whatever you want just remember that strings have to be in <laughs> quotes it's gonna be player dot point and that's it now that we have all of this I'm going to add more pickups to our scene silver gold and diamond diamond it's gonna be worth four points circle quality to the is trigger and then add the script and say it's four points this is silver it's gonna be two points circle quarter to be and gold it's gonna be three points and we're going to add a circle quarter to the trigger and we should be done we should be ready except we didn't add don't forget that we add the text to our level manager now it has zero points four seven eight and ten points so that's it that's how you make a point system in unity i hope you guys learned something from this tutorial and we're ready for the third part in which we're gonna change the sprite of our of our player just with a little bit of code and a button and other than that we're gonna learn how to make him jump and double jump it's gonna be pretty interesting so thanks for watching